Little kitty, why are you trying to catch the bee? Kitty practicing kung fu. Hiya! Well, to master a skill, you need a great teacher. And who could be better than nature's own kung fu master? The praying mantis. So, to learn from the best, let's zoom in. When you think of a praying mantis, you might picture a cool green insect sitting peacefully with its four legs folded, as if in a prayer, a pose that inspired its iconic name. However, beyond this familiar green form, there are over 2,400 species of these fascinating insects in the Mantodea family, an order that diverged from their close relatives such as cockroaches and termites around 300 million years ago. Brain mantises come in all shapes and sizes. The tiniest is the Bobby pygmia, barely reaching one centimeter. While the heaviest is the West African Mega Mantis, the female tipping the scales at over 13 grams. The longest is the Giant Stick Mantis from Northern Africa, which can stretch out over 17 centimeters. And with such a wild variety comes the responsibility of survival, which has turned these insects into true ninja warriors. Yes. Unlike many predators that chase down their prey, the mantis excels in patience and stealth. It employs camouflage to remain undetected, blending seamlessly into its surroundings, whether among leaves, branches or flowers. The mantis's ability to mimic these elements, along with its exceptional disguise, enhances its predatory efficiency. Not only that, but mantises are also unique among insects in their ability to turn their heads from side to side. This head movement, combined with their exceptional 360-degree 3D vision, gives them a significant advantage during hunting, allowing them to lock onto their prey from a distance with remarkable precision. Then, as the prey approaches, the mantis prepares to strike with its specialized forelegs, which are equipped with sharp spines and folded close to its body. Once the prey enters the striking zone, the mantis launches its forelegs forward with astonishing speed, capturing the prey with almost mechanical efficiency within a fraction of a second. Once caught, the prey has little chance of escape as the spines of the mantis's legs hold it in a visor-like grip. The mantis then begins feeding, using its mandibles to bite and chew its prey, often starting with softer parts before moving on to the tougher sections. This combination of speed and strength makes the praying mantis a formidable opponent for any unsuspecting insect, and in rare cases, even hummingbirds or lizards. If you think that's lethal, here's a fact that might make you say, Whoa! Female praying mantises sometimes eat the males after or even during mating. I know this sounds brutal, but it actually provides the female with extra nutrients, which helps her produce more eggs. It's a tough world out there, even for lovebirds. In short, the praying mantis is a tiny predator with big skills. With its incredible eyesight, super-fast reflexes, stealthy hunting style, and yes, even its occasional cannibalistic tendencies, the mantis is a fascinating example of nature's creativity. So next time you see one of these insects striking a pose, remember that it's not just chilling out, it's probably getting ready to pounce on its next meal. Trivia time! Did you know that some mantises molt at the end of a dry season to turn black? They cleverly timed this transformation to match the darkened landscape left by bush fires. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Jagela. I hope you learned something new today. Until next time, this is Dr. Binox zooming out. Yeah!
never mind. <laughs> <laughs>